Hello, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm carrying on from last video I've just done. Carrying on with the ERF. So this is the airbox that I got off Josh Miller a couple of videos ago, where I went to get the Drake brakes turned on, on the ERF. We shot blasted it to clean it up, and you can see, she needs a little bit of love. But for an ERF airbox, pretty good. So you can see the hole's rotten here, so I'll just have a big one. I'll put a big washer on there like that. And look at that. It made me patch it. Um, I'm not happy with it. I made a bit of an arse of it, if I'm honest. It's not very nice. One bit came in all right, then this warped, pulled out, and it, it hasn't been in nice, and it's really kicking my monkey's teeth in. We're talking about this bit and I think, no, oh, I'll cut this out and I'll make this bit. And he went, why don't we solder it? Now, soldering or lead loading is a, a really old school thing where I would imagine some of you, the older generation will know, but the new won't. Essentially, it's like filler, but it's solder. It saves having to cut this up because it is solid around here, it's just underneath. So I'm going to solder this up with body solder. And I'm going to go through the techniques and how it works. And it fills up the holes. And I'm going to fill with it, fill this up, skim it over, and make it look nice because that's really, really, really kicking my head in. That's not nice enough. I like things right, and I, I'm not happy with that. Firstly, you make sure the material is clean. No paint and stuff in the way. No paint and rust. If this isn't because it's been shot blasted. You get your solar paint. This is solar paint. People, we call it flux solar paint, whatever you want to call it. Paint it on, it's like a grey paste. I'm just going to show you quickly what happens. You warm it up, it'll start to flow and go silver, and then you wipe it off with a cloth. Paint the flame, warm it up. And what you see is you see it starts to flow, don't, you don't want to burn it. You warm it up until you see it, it starts to like bubble like that. Like that, you can see it. The thing you want to do is wipe it off with its pot, which I can't do with two hands, with one hand, so I'm going to have to reflow it and then wipe it off. So that's it all tinned up, tinned, fluxed, solar pasted, whatever you want to say. No, no heat. I'm going to show you this bit and then I'm going to disappear off and do it all in a minute, really. Two hands. Now, the old boys are a lot more skilled at this than I am. I'm not very skilled at it, but I can kind of do it. Why not? Plus, the camera's getting in the way. Oil on it. Shape it in place. Ah. Kind of like that. So you can see there, sold it up, filled up the gap, and it looks nice. I just got to do that on that bit, and all the way around there. Here we are. It's all soldered up. So that's nice and solid now. All the holes are filled up with metal. So that's a winner for me. So I've got the repairs done, roughly. They're not great, but it's on the airbox. That's underneath the bottom of the airbox. It'll get covered with a lot of primer. I'm going to seam seal all these up so water can, moisture can't get in. And then I'm going to prime it, flat it, and paint it. Make it look nice, but not spend my life making it look perfect for where it is. I got a little surprise. So I've been talking with Liam and, and Richard about something. About making parts. And there's a part I've been thinking about making. They're expensive to buy. And I don't want to buy one when I can make one because you know I like to make things. Let's give you a second to figure out what I'm looking at. Have you figured it out yet? Dutch headboard. I want to make a Dutch headboard the size I want, the fitting I want. I have brackets off it for beacons either side. And I can get PJD Transport on it. That's a company that I've dreamed of having since I've been titchy. Like, titchy, I am small now, but. Ditchy ditchy. 
always want the haulage company called PJD Transport. So that's going to be a new project. So we've got progress with the... So it's been repaired and primed. I'm going to flat the primer off and paint that. It's not perfect, but it's nice. It's nice enough and it's got for where she sits. I wonder if you can figure out what it's going to be. Do you know what it is yet? <laughs> oh. Open. Oh, this is going to be perfect. That is going to be absolutely bang on. So it's too raw. It's 1500 long. Can see how long it is? That's my template one that I had. But I want it. It's a metre long. It's going to be a metre long. So I end up with a bit of wastage, but 14 is what it is. It's a little bit taller. So this is, I think, 210. This is 220. And it's deep there as well, so this is an 80. Look what's just turned up. My plexiglass. UV resistant special stuff for making light boxes. I'm just going to use this. Mark up the size that I want. So I was like, ooh, I'll cut this down and get the right shape and size. I went, no, wait until you get the, the quality carb, plus plexiglass, whatever it's called, and cut it to the size of the plexiglass instead of going, I'm going to measure it and then find out it's going to be too long or too short. Well, I've been playing with the, the headboard, making me Dutch headboard, and I'm over the moon with it so far. And that's it so far. It's still a million miles off yet. The, the plexiglass isn't fitted in properly, it's just in place. None of this is finished, it's got no brackets, it's got no internal structure structure yet, so there's still tons to do. Brackets for putting beacons on, I need to make, get um, the markers for the top. It's one of our markers on the top. I need to make brackets to hold it to the wagon, brackets to support it, because there's going to be a lot of wind resistance. Bracket, there's lots of things to make and figure out and look at, but, so it's, it's, that's as far as it's getting. If you like watching this kind of stuff, working on old lorries, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ta. And yes, I have to shoot on this in. This was filmed at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So, I've been making good progress with the headboard. And I am also going to be making a bracket for my uh, lollipops. I can't remember, a jail style? Jilly style? I can't remember what you call them. Off the top of my head. The bracket so I can run them under the front. I was intending on running them that way, but I feel that way suits the wagon a lot more. It fits and it flows better with the wagon than trying to run them that way. And then also, I've been getting good progress with the headboard. That's saying. And then I've actually done uh, most of the internal work on the headboard. I can start thinking about how I'm going to work it. So, this is it so far. As you can tell, it's lying down and that's staying in place. I'll show you that in a second. This isn't a beacon I'm going to use, it's just the one I'm using to mock up. It's an old Lucas one. I did want to use this beacon if I could find this, the the one to make it a pair, but I can't. Or the beacons are going to go there and there. I've ordered a pair of lap ones built in the UK, so I like to keep things uh, British built if I can. Obviously, the ERF's British built. Yes, it's got an American engine, an American uh, gearbox, as, he, as in Eaton, I think. The engines have been built in Britain, but Cummins are American really, aren't they? I don't know, keep it right. I don't actually know these things, it's just knowledge I kind of stored up here somewhere. Maybe, I could be, <laughs> I could be completely wrong. So please correct me in the comments if I am wrong. I, I'm not gonna say I know everything, because I really don't. So the lap beacons are gonna go on here. They're roughly the same size as these. They are 130 wide by 186 tall. I'm going to put it together, roughly, before I actually and get it in, in situ and stuff before I paint it. And I will decide then whether I'm going to run the markers on the top. So, the Perspex slides out, because then you can get into the mountain brackets when you mount it up. And also, it um, means if you can get to the light inside, I put the light to go inside as well. Which I'll show you when I put it on. So I've got a piece of angle bolted into the frame. Another piece of angle bolted into the frame which will act as runners for the board. Made a couple of there. A piece of angle up here, it all adds structural rigidity. This one I've made sure is full length because then it means I've got something good and solid to bolt to. 
it's going to be one big sandwich. Big bolt. Big bolt. This means I can use my flat, which is on the floor there, to make a bracket that comes down and sits on the top of the cab. So when it's got wind resistance against it, it won't fall backwards and fold up and hit the cab. Look what I've just been to dig out the shed. Now I knew I had a load of Volvo roof markers from the cabs were broken and I got given a couple when I was lit when I was little. And all the Volvo and whatever, but oh uh, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Um one that one has it in. Oh I can't click. So I've got one. That one's missing. Oh. They're all missing. All the internals are missing. That's a young me thing. I've taken them apart, cleaned them up and painted them, and lost the bloody internals. Guess what's just turned up? Right, Bars UK. That's where I got them from. And I'll do with this. What's the button? Oh no, it's working. You can see it. Woohoo! Look at that man. Bang on. <laughs> and as I said, this is half the reason why I bought them. Made manufactured in the UK from Birmingham. I thought that would be nice. Let's we'll see. Manufactured UK. British built wagon. So I've marked my brackets. The take the sunrise. I'm gonna take the sunriser off. I've got two bolts in either. And one bolt holding it on either side. But I'm gonna wait for that to come back because it's not the strongest of sunrisers. I'm gonna repair it and paint it when it's off. Because there is a crack from when I first put it on. I put a link in the video. Literally the day after I took, put the sunriser on. Gust of wind pulled the, the brackets out the the cab and sunrise disappeared out of my view. I thought it was gone, like it was terrifying. Now I'm always worried about the sunvisor. Yeah. I think when I've got five minutes I might prep the airbox to paint. I'm just sharpening my drill. Look how satisfying this is. A little draper pistol drill. This was five mil thick, I think. Five or six mil. Six mil I think. Angle. I know it's hellish overkill, but I'd rather overkill it, as I said. I'd rather o overkill it than hope it's going to be okay. Look at this. How good is that drill? Oh. Just had my first like proper test fit of the headboard. The sun are loose. The brackets are loose. But it's held up there, and it gives you an idea. Oh, I'm over the moon. That's going to be mint. Perfect size. Looks spot on. Brackets are spot on. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. And the thing is as well, because it sounds daft, but because I made it, I'm even happier than if I just bought one. It's like, you just, you just have that feeling of, I've, I've done that, I've achieved that. Yeah. Got the beacons on, so it, 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 nothing's fixed on properly yet. I've just put the, the headboard in, the plexiglass in, the beacons on, and I test fit it. And I am absolutely over the moon with that. I think that looks absolutely bang on. You know, when you make something in your head, you can visualize something in your head, and you make it, and it turns out exactly to the T of how you wanted it to, which is a very rare thing to do, but that has worked out perfect. So I've got the sun right the, the boot the the box is on. Not properly but it's on. You can see what I mean about the brackets, that they're all solid, that's not gonna go anywhere. Now I put them on because I wanna mark mark them up. Might even tack weld them in place. So I can take it all down at once and weld them up in situ, if that makes sense. Without having welding spot that fall doing the windscreen. Marked up me bar. It's 36 in the middle there. Each side, I've already cut the end off. So now I'm going to cut this 
and I've got two bits of flat I can bend and make into my brackets to save it and to support it. Time to get the grinder out. Don't ask. <laughs> don't ask him what that was. I don't know. I'm also going to repair the sun visor while I've got it off. This is going to be another two-parter. Because it's going to be at least a, 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 a while before I get that finished. Marker lights to come. And I've still got the brackets to finish making. I need to blast and paint the brackets, weld the brackets onto there. I've got airbox which has been repaired and paint uh, repaired, but I haven't painted it because I'm probably going to paint that the same time as I do these. I had an idea. These are the flats, obviously, which are going to go on the back. There's a support to stop from blowing in the wind. I took my profile gauge up and I got the shape of the card. So now, hopefully, I should be able to. That's give me 16. And then I fold that and it should follow the shape of the carb up like that. Put a little bit of rubber on it. And then I'm going to use some rubber rivet nuts. Yeah, um, and someone else. As well as... Yeah, who are you with it? Chuck, it come in the park, yeah, I can't remember. Um, we're talking about these rubber, rubber rivet nuts and I'm going to get some of them. Put them in, into the, car, the roof of the carb. And then when I nip them up, they'll seal and they'll give you that good, nice, strong... It should stop it rocking back to supports in the wind. Got some big steps forward. I have got the brackets tack welded on. I'm gonna weld these up properly now. Dad shot rusted them for us this morning. I have just uh, cleaned up the edges, radius the edge off. That's where the beacon goes on, look a bit nicer. And weld these up, weld the holes up, the extra holes are in the, the somewhere. I'm going to get these in the oven so I can get some heat into these big thick bits of 5mm to go against this like 2 mil because then it'll help weld and it'll give a better weld a bit of penetration stronger and look nicer i think it's pretty safe to say if that falls off there's a problem also weld that bolt in the other one's in the oven getting warm now we've only got one more to weld up i've just in the middle of powder and i just finished a batch of them they've got a brackets they were fun it's been on forever and a day i put uh, a zinc based one on and then a for corrosion protection and a barrier, epoxy barrier, and then a high build, flat the high build, and now it's getting black powder. I'm doing them hot because that's the way I like to do them. I'll turn that around. Mm, flat them as nice as I would have liked, but come on, let's. To be honest, they're gonna still have to crack up my height there. I've got the airbox painted. I've got it painted while I've been letting things cook off in the oven. And it's not it's not great, it's not perfect, far from it indeed. Massively far from it, but look at it, it's cracking, it's good enough, isn't it? When that's in the wagon, that's gonna be a cracking job. Funky dory. And then last bit of this video. Show you these. There's the powder. All the brackets are powdered up. Looking lovely. Got the white parts. These bits are white because they go on the top of the cab. They're white because they go in the box, so white for reflectiveness. And the black brackets, which have been powdered into full gloss, and they look absolutely bang on. And let's call it a day. I know I haven't got anywhere near as much progress in this video as I wanted but we've got progress which is good the more I've got to get wiring finished got lights to fit the box finish, uh, get the wiring sorted on it paint the box uh, decide what color to paint the box repair the sun visor decide whether I'm keeping the sun visor red or go in a different color etc etc there's lots of things to come a few changes I have got ideas in my head but I'm not sure how it's going to work so Let's wait and see. Half past eight on a Friday. And I'm going to end this video now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do enjoy doing this kind of stuff. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to follow along. And see how the project turn out. Cheers. It's a now.